Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing something um, different to what I usually do. So, um, I'm going to actually be doing the uh, random pack challenge. So I've seen a few people do this, a few different Sims YouTubers try this challenge and I thought um, I really would like to try this myself. So if you guys don't know what the random pack challenge is already, um, it's basically a challenge where each room, each part of the house is generated randomly from like a random picker, whatever and it's basically one of the packs to decorate each room and also the outside so what we're going to do first is we're going to generate a pack to decorate the outside of this build with so this is actually built from my shell challenge if any of you guys saw that um, if you're new to my channel hi <laughs> um, this is uh, built from my shell challenge it is a um, sort of like just a very generic looking build and a little bit of a roof on it as well and what we're going to do is we're going to generate what I'm going to build for the outside so what pack I'm going to use for the outside and I really hope I get something good I'm kind of scared about doing this I don't want to get something bad um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to um, decorate the outside of this house I'm not going to use any base game items just going to use pack items to do this and we're gonna see how it turns out. Okay, so we're gonna use this pack generator. It's by James Turner for like challenges like this. So we're just gonna press generate. I've removed the packs that I do not have in the game. So these four stuff packs are the only ones I don't have. I have everything else. So it's gonna press generate. Um, and I hope that we get something that's actually half decent um, that I can build with. Oh, I, but I pressed five. Sorry, I pressed five packs. So let's try again. Um, I'm hoping that I get something, yes, okay, get together. So I'm gonna get something that is an expansion pack that's actually gonna have stuff that I can use to build. So let's go into the, back into the game. So I'm gonna try and make this house quite tudor -y because get together has a lot of like Tudor kind of decoration, something in like, um, something that's gonna have um, this, I don't know what it's called. It's called, uh, phew, I can't think of the name that this is. It's like, just a lot of houses in like England have this sort of like, um, pattern on them and I forget what they're called but we just know them as like a Tudor house. We also have like some brickwork we could actually use as well but I don't know where that would actually fit in. Um, and we do have some windows and stuff so we can just have a look at what windows we got. So this is going to be like I said probably quite um, a traditional looking build just because we're only using um, get, to, get to work and get to work it does have, I mean you can make a modern build. Um, I think some of the bigger windows are modern. Um, but I'm gonna use oh, maybe like these little windows. I do like that. Um, and then maybe change these actually to be more like that. Um, and then we can have some of the downstairs windows. Maybe have I don't know whether we should do this and have like these little pattern things on the windows there. Um, and then we can have probably like that. I have I'm a big fan of like symmetrical things in the build I actually really like to have all of my like items all my windows and stuff like very symmetrical looking oh we got a really good foundation as well I actually like that too and um, let's see what doors there is for get together because I can't remember so we've got a traditional door and we've also got like a very modern door so we might go with this um, but it doesn't sit centrally this is the thing I like the door to sit centrally I would like to have a double door but there isn't one that's small um, unless this looks does it look too modern with this build I don't know I just have this idea of what I want it to look like maybe if we put two door no Maybe we just have one little front door in the middle. I don't honestly think it's looking too bad. I've just like smacked a load of windows everywhere because um, they're all pretty much the same sort of window but like I just wanted it all to look very similar. And I went on to plants to do a little bit of landscape and I realised these are the only plants you get with get together so I thought maybe I could make them like really big. We can get some like really big things so they look like trees. Maybe that looks too big. I don't know. Maybe something something like that um, and on this lot like I just realized we've got like this um, gating but I don't really care I'm just gonna do some flooring so um, I want to pick like a very rocky looking path something like that actually that might work very well I like that and um, we don't have any of the plants I don't think uh, we can kind of yeah, let's just check we don't have any of the plants <laughs> so I don't know if we've got any uh, we can we've got some terrain paint here we can do like the I don't know, that doesn't look like how I want it to look. Um, we can do like some... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying, I can't believe I'm attempting to terrain this. 
that looks weird. I don't like that. Um, I wanted like something darker, but everything seems too light. Um, I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to um, you do a little bit of fencing on this part here, like to make not like a balcony, but I think it make it a little, little bit more um, interesting if we put like some fencing up. So I'm going to just see how this fencing looks. Again, it's just blending in with like what we've already done, but I think it's because. <laughs> there isn't. It's it's a pack that's meant to tie in with what um, is in the pack. Does that make sense? So it's not going to look um, super unique. Like it's not going to look very. Yeah, it's not gonna, like going to be a very unique build. Not just because I'm just using like what I've got, and this is the problem with this challenge. You've only got a certain amount of things. It makes it really hard. You've only got a certain amount of like items to choose from. So I'm just doing this fencing here. Um, and then I might change the colour of the like the flat. I don't know whether you call it a roof, like just the flat areas on top. Um, I don't know whether to have this as white, this trim, um, because I don't want to count the roof in it because there isn't any roofs that I've, that I've all get together. So I'm just gonna do um, some brown sort of like trim on the roof, maybe. I don't know actually. Might keep it white. Keep it white. And then um, let's go back onto here and check what we've got. So again not too many things we might have to just do like pebbles there as well so we've got like some outside balcony area um i don't know whether we should put like a door outside i'm not really too sure um yes i'm gonna put a door there and i'm also gonna put a door there so the i don't know if the house can go outside but this person has got like literally no um Literally no plants because there just isn't any. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick um, fence around the border as well before we go on into the inside of the house and have a go with that. So I'm just going to draw up a little, a quick little, oops, you can't do it there. Oh no, okay. Just do a quick little, little um, fence off area. That's what I was thinking. Like I'm just going to fence it off. Um, I don't know what I think of it. I don't know if I like it. So for the inside of the house, I'm kind of thinking of doing a kitchen diner here and then like a living area. And then if we go upstairs, maybe like, I don't know if we can get two beds in here. Maybe like one bedroom um, and one bathroom maybe. I don't know. Um, we'll see. But I'm going to go into the pack. I'm going to start with the living room. So we're going to go in to the randomizer again and <laughs> see what um, I get for this living room. Okay, here we go. So we're generating now. I hope that it's not something stupid. Like a pack of stuff. Tiny living stuff. You know what? That isn't too bad. That is not too bad. It could be a lot worse than that. So yeah. I don't even know if there was any wallpapers with tiny living stuff. I, I actually don't know if there's any building items with tiny living stuff. Let's just check. No. So we're just going to have this plane. Uh, I don't know. If there's any floor. No. No. There's no floor. Oh my life. Okay. Let's see what actual items there are. In the tiny living stuff pack. Oh. Why couldn't I get an expansion pack to decorate this room? Why? Okay. Um, I'm going to put the TV in there. Is there any sofas actually? No. What? No. Okay. So we're gonna have to just. Oh my life. Okay. Oh, there is a sofa. Yeah, there is. Of course there is. This is cute sofa. I love this sofa as well. I can't even believe I forgot about it. So I don't know whether to make it just look like super quirky now because you know there is, isn't any point even trying to make it look nice. I'm just gonna make like some like random. So different coloured sofas. Um, is there any curtains with this? Oh yes, there's lighting and everything. So we're gonna put the lighting in. I've got so much space. I shouldn't have done this all as one room. This is a, this was a mistake. Um, let's get this rug. And can I just like, if I can like get it, like like a jigsaw rug to make the, to, to like some flooring. I don't know if that's allowed. Like, if we just put like loads of rugs together, is that cheating to make the floor in? Like, I just don't want the, the room to look awful. Um, if I do it like that, is it gonna stick out the maybe a little bit? Um, I'm just trying to like me see, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, okay, so apparently, you can use base game items if 
um, there isn't any so I just searched that because I was like there is no way I could do a build that's gonna have these walls and this floor it's just awful so I can use my favorite flooring well one of my favorite floorings is like bright one and then we're also gonna do uh, some let's have a look at the base game walls because there isn't any wallpapers for tiny living it's just ridiculous um let's have a look so I don't want to go into my CC uh, might just go for like a white room because I'm can decorate it with some other stuff and apparently he can use like base game pots and stuff which I didn't realize I just thought it was like completely I want to put flowers and stuff up now I think that it says if you, that you can actually use like the base game items as well I thought it was just a pack for each thing I should have researched that a little bit better before I started this yeah it's been such a long time since I just did like a build that was just like I like just the base game, game items but just like in general like just just what yeah just like without all of the packs of gox I've nearly got all of them I can't believe like how little there is in the game and like it's not I don't know I just don't remember there being so little so much stuff um you am looking for a fireplace I don't know whether to have a fireplace in here I don't know whether that fits the vibe maybe like a modern looking one or I don't know I just want it to be like quite a light room I don't really know where I'm going with this I'm just kind of just placing stuff about okay so kind of the idea was I'm going to keep like the old features of the house but have it a little bit more modern inside so it's like Tudor on the outside but it's still got the old Victorian fireplace um, I'm just kind of thinking of some other stuff to put in this this is like the living room so far um, I'm kind of thinking of doing like a desk maybe in the living room I don't know whether to use this little tiny desk like here um, with a little bit of a, like, a little laptop on or something um, yeah that, that kind of works actually and we'll use this chair I want to use as many things from the tiny living stuff pack. I actually think there is quite a lot of things that you can use um, in the tiny living pack. Like these little um, things with like the plants and stuff. Um, the bookends, like plants, are quite cute. We also have, um, I'm going to do like maybe a little bookshelf up here somewhere. Maybe like here. Um, so this is like a very, an, an area is going to have quite a lot of things to do. I might do a easel as well to be honest I might see if there's an easel just a nice room for like relaxing and like other stuff too there's quite a lot going on um I want to clutter it up as well I think this is pretty much done now I have tried to make the most of using the tiny living furniture just with these um different colored arm um, sofas and like these little poofs this TV stand and the tables and like the chair and everything. I've also done like, obviously like I said I was going to do some base game items in here as well. But I wanted to make it kind of like a artist area here with like the little pictures and stuff that they've already done and that easel. Give it a lot of space. I didn't want it to be like too cluttered. I wanted to, um, some areas of big space. So that's pretty much the living room I think that I've done so far. Um, I don't know whether it looks alright. I've got this like traditional fireplace as well. I just wanted to put it in there. Um, so we're going to do the um, probably the kitchen next. I'm going to actually still do the kitchen and dining room as two different packs even though it's going to be in an open space. So we're probably going to go for the kitchen next. So I've taken off um, the packs that I've already got because I don't want to keep getting the same ones. So I've taken off um, Tiny Living and um, Get Together so we're just going to generate another pack from those. And hopefully we get something that's got some nice kitchen um, sets and that in there. Um, city living so um, that's not too bad actually I'm gonna be using city living for the kitchen then and we're gonna see what's in there okay so I'm kind of thinking of making this corner area here um, the kitchen and just had a quick look at the counters that we've got available and they're tending to be uh, I completely forgot about this thing in city living where you can buy like the used counters I don't really want to use the used counters I don't know whether I can just use the base game counters because I kind of do like I don't know if I could just use these ones because they are the same but they're new they're newer than those I'm just gonna do that because I don't I don't like them I don't want this house to have um I know that like for some apartments that might be a cool idea you know like it, or some houses like but for this one I didn't really want it to be like a used kind of a vibe I don't know how to explain um let's see if there's any like any different wallpapers so Again, we've got kind of um, we've got some bricky ones. 
That's quite cool actually. I don't know whether that would be too dark for the inside of the house. Like to have a brick wall on the like just I know some people sometimes have like just plain brick walls in their houses, so I'm gonna move these windows up as well because I kind of I kind of prefer the look in the general kitchen with the windows up. Um have we got any lighting as well? Let's see if we've got anything um that's I, I would like something. Oh, I forgot about that coffee table. Uh, there's so many items that I forget about that um, that are in the base game that I just didn't realise were. You know, I'm just gonna use spotlights in the kitchen. Probably just a few different little spotlights because it just give um, a lot of light off. And then I'm gonna get some curtains and do these windows maybe uh should we go with curtains actually i don't know i was gonna put some cupboards above the like on top of them so i'm gonna do some purple cupboards maybe is that the same color <laughs> it looks a different shade actually this purple this like shading um just do it like this maybe that's strange now because <laughs> that doesn't seem to have worked properly i'm gonna have to do like some auto count um not the auto count i'm gonna take this off and we can have a look at like a corner cupboard it's gonna be this one um, I think the sizing is off you see that's why I say it like there we go so that's better that will fit in a lot nicer oh, that's a used one actually isn't it <laughs> I just don't know if that's a used one okay and then I want this unit too we can have this on the end actually um, delete this little thing there okay so it's a purple kitchen um, very different to what I would usually do and I'm kind of thinking of having an island because there's so much space as well I'd like kind of an island I want to make sure there's like some little chairs around this island so that people can sit there I don't really think any new chairs came with um, city living so we go with like I don't know um, should we go matching or should we go like out there I like I kind of like this blue little this little blue chair um, I'm just gonna put some stores around it so like you can have a little bit of a sit down you know people can have like a breakfast bob it's a big island actually i didn't realize how big i actually made it so we're gonna find somewhere for the oven as well i don't really know like how <laughs> um i don't really know how it's looking i don't really know if i like it i'm kind of just like um i'm just kind of just placing stuff at this point just try and make it look a little bit more cluttered but it's, it's purple cabinets i wanted to use these because they are like the same as the city living ones but obviously like you get the used um cabinets but i don't want to use the used ones so yeah that's why i'm playing <laughs> that's why i decided to stick to these cupboards i don't want to use the base game ones i just thought i'd try and they are base game but i hope you know guys understand what i'm talking about but this is pretty much the kitchen i think um I don't really want to add anything else, I don't think. I don't really want it to be like um, super cluttered. I'm going to see if there's anything that sticks out to me. Maybe like, I don't know what's going on on this, on this island. We've got like a few things going on. So I might just leave it because I'm just going to keep adding stuff. But we've got like a few things down. So we're going to go for like this dining room area next. Okay, let's hope I get something half decent because I'm... Um, I'm scared. I'm getting scared because of using the expansions. Perfect patio stuff. Does that have anything? Like a table? I don't remember. Oh no. There is a table. There is a table, but it's like this plank one. I don't know whether this looks too outsidey. I don't know. I just want to use it anyway. I don't know which one to use though. Maybe like just the white one, I suppose. We could just use that. I just want to have like a big table and then like loads of chairs around it. So let's have a look at what chairs we can get. Again. It looks like an outside table. I don't know. I don't know whether it's like too outside-ish. Um, I don't know about this. Um, let's change it to white. Okay, it, it looks... I don't know whether brown would be better actually. Whether we had... Hmm, not too sure. I'm thinking something like this, like with this bright wallpaper. I just don't know at this point. I'm just sort of like mashing things together. I'm just sort of like... I don't know, I'm just placing things and seeing if they look half decent and I'm just like, okay, I'll just use it. So we're going to find a bar. Um, we're going to see if there's a... Is it a pair? That's the perfect patio bar, I think. Um, we can put that in here. Um, is there another bar, actually? I don't think so. I think there's just that one. So we could put, like... I don't know. Does it look weird? <laughs> um, it's a stupid question for a build like this. Does it look weird? Like, there is... I'm just trying to use outside items to furnish um, a dining room, so it's not going to look like amazing. Um, I think there's a. It might be better like as a white, maybe like 
something like that. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to work with what I've got, so... I don't know how it's looking. It's looking it's kind of weird all over the place. I don't I don't think I like it, to be honest. I'm going to do maybe a sofa in here. Let's see if there's a sofa because I just think there's a lot of space we need to fill up. I'm um, looking... I've, I've got my filter on, actually. I think this is honestly turning into like a very strange build now. I think... <laughs> I was trying to make it like... I don't really know where I was going with I hadn't gotten any idea in my head of what this is gonna look like. So I've just been placing stuff down and like it's kind of looking quite quirky, is that the word we can use? It's looking quirky, it's looking straight quite out there, like if you look around, like not like this area, just there's something about it that I just don't like and I don't know what it is. I think it's the outdoor table. And then this kitchen as well, I just don't know. I'm just trying. <laughs> I'm sorry. If this was a fail, I'm sorry. I tried try my best. I've never done anything like this before. I mean like I've said in my videos many times that I don't like doing builds like live, if that makes sense. And I find it really hard. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much done messing around with the downstairs. I'm just gonna leave it because it's gonna get worse if I keep adding stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move on to upstairs. So I'm kind of thinking um I might have, let me just see if I can uh, see how I can divide it up. So we're going to put that as a room. We're going to go for that as a room, like the bathroom maybe. And then maybe just one more room. So if we have, say like two bedrooms and a bathroom, that should be fine. So um, I'm going to decorate the hallway in base game. And then I'm going to go and generate the, maybe let's start with the bathroom. I think we'll start with the bathroom and I'll go and generate that. Here we go. I hope that it's something that's going to be useful for a bathroom. Parenthood. Is that cute? I, I don't actually know what is in Parenthood. So there is like these quite cute counters in Parenthood which I've forgotten about, which I do like, especially from a bathroom. So I'm trying to think of the layout of this thing. It's actually an awkward shape and that is on my bill. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make this the like this the uh, sink area this is my fault because of the way I've built this house this bathroom is like sticking out um, like look like over the top of the house or whatever so let's, let's have a look for we actually have a sink as well that comes with it so maybe we could just take the unit out I don't know whether that looks alright like whether it doesn't mesh I don't know I'm just gonna do it maybe like this so there's two sinks in this bathroom um, and then we're gonna have this oh yeah I love this shower we're gonna have this shower cubicle something like that and um, let's see what design maybe and this one we have it in this corner it fits into the corner quite well I do actually think that this is actually quite a good pack for this because I've just realized like how much that how much thing how many things there are you know that you can use um, for decorating and stuff like this basket and things and like it, it does actually come with quite a few um, different items like this medicine cabinet and everything which I didn't realise and um, when I bought this game I actually got it with Parenthood and Cats and Dogs I believe so I've never actually played this um, without any packs really so it's kind of interesting to see like what the limited items there were I don't know so um, I'm kind of thinking of having I don't know maybe like a rug in the middle something like that. I think that's pretty much it. I've tried, I've changed the cabinets and everything and I've kind of, I don't know, it's it's kind of bright and different. I, I don't know, I've, I actually do quite like this bathroom. I always struggle with doing bathrooms. I do quite like how this turned out so I'm going to leave that there. I actually really love these as well, these like um, netty curtains that come with Parenthood. I do like those too so I had to do those. Um, and then, uh, yeah, probably for the next um, room. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna do like a kid's bedroom and then I'm gonna do like an adult's bedroom. So we're gonna do the kid's bedroom first, maybe. Um, this one, so we're gonna check out what we're gonna get for that. Just have to remember to take parenthood off because we just used parenthood for the bathroom. So um, hopefully we get something useful, get famous. I don't really know if that comes with anything kid like. We'll have to check. Okay, so I know that it comes with one of my favorite wallpapers actually. Um, so if we can, quickly just check out that um where is it um i don't really know why but i've always liked this wallpaper so that's what i'm going to be using this wallpaper it's going to be like a little girl's room so i'm going to go with kind of the age of like maybe like a, a child age um so we can just do like a little pink bed just trying to find one that i actually like 
Um, I'm just ending up using everything pink. I'm just like dotting things around again. <laughs> like, it's just because um, of like the lack of items for me to use. Um, I'm just kind of thinking, like, f just finding anything I can use basically and just putting it down. I don't know whether that's whether that'll be okay in her room. This is the thing. I might use like, something like that. Like. I don't know, that might be too bright. Oh, I'll just keep changing my mind in my head. Um, oh, okay. Maybe... I, I don't know whether we want something modern for this room. Like, It's quite a traditional building, this is the thing. This is what um, I've kind of ignored. <laughs> it's quite a traditional looking outside build of the building, you know? Um, I, I'm just going to forget the picture for a second, but I want to do like some more like toys and stuff in here. I actually quite like how it's turned now. I don't know, I just think it's a little bit different to what I would usually do but I do quite um I am quite enjoying doing this. It's quite um it's quite cute this little room here. So that's pretty much done. Um I'm probably not gonna be furnishing the balconies, I'm probably just gonna keep it to the rooms. So that is the um little girl's room, little daughter's room. Um, with like little bits of toys and stuff and then we're going to move on to the last room of the pack which is going to be the main bedroom okay so i'm really hoping we get something good for the last room i think we've done all right so far spa day it's actually a lovely pack so <laughs> it should be okay let's go and check that out i don't think that there's like a bed that comes with spa day so i think i'm gonna have to just go with kind of a just a generic bed let's just check that there isn't spa day there we go so um no i don't think there is so we're just gonna go with one of the base game beds then um maybe this one i don't know actually i don't know whether to go for a modern -y one or just a normal one might just try that to start with see how that pans out so let's have a look at what um items are in spa day because i can't remember let's take the base game off and just go with spa day so there are some really cute items. We might even have like a little fish tank in our bedroom. I don't know. I don't know whether that's a strange thing to put in in a room, like a massive fish tank. I kind of want it though. I'm gonna I'm just gonna put it there. Um, my favourite mirrors and stuff are in spa day as well. So let's see where we can put my favourite mirror. What's well, the light up one? That's why I like it. I like how the light is around it. Okay, so again. I'm kind of getting the vibes of I don't really know how I feel about it. The room isn't that big to be honest so I've kind of just kept it a little bit simple. Um, I wanted to have the big fish tank in the bedroom because I love that big fish tank and I wanted to use it in my build but <laughs> I've only got spa day for the, the bedroom so that is that. I think I'm going to leave it there. I, I just don't really think there's much else I can do with that. Um, so that is the build. Uh, let's just you can have a quick glance at how it looks all together. Um, I'm not really sure whether I'd call this a success. I'm not. I don't actually know. I do like certain rooms, but there's other rooms I'm just like, mm. like this room I actually like. I actually like this room. I actually like the bathroom. But the other rooms I'm kind of not sure about. So let me go. Let <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Whether you think this was a success or whether it was a fail. Um, and yeah, I encourage you guys to try out this challenge for yourself because it was actually quite fun. It was quite fun to just kind of see like what um, other things we can do with um, the packs in the game and like encouraging us to use different items. So I actually do like the idea of the challenge. I don't think I did that good at it, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And um, I hope that you guys like this and I hope that you guys give it a go yourselves. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.